And now give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We would like to thank uh, the special representative of the Secretary General, uh, Mr. Mankondiai. Thank him for the information he provided as regards the situation in CAR. We listened to all of the briefers today and their assessment of the situation in the country with a great deal of interest. We agree that the political agreement on peace and uh, conciliation in CAR signed on the 6th of February is a very important starting point to uh, further improve the situation in the country. The government and the armed groups um, should use uh, the window of opportunity that opened as a result, uh, whereas the international community should uh, help them in this as much as possible. The important role in this context is to be played by the UN stabilization mission in CAR. We do understand that the Blue Helmets have a task which is far from easy, given the size of the country, logistical difficulties, given how fragile the security situation is. And of course, uh, the mission can count on our support in their work. We see uh, that uh, there are outlines of uh, progress in efforts to overcome the crisis and moving towards national reconciliation. The most important thing now is to make sure that this process becomes as inclusive as possible, ensuring that there is a balanced approach and that the interests of all of the players in the Central African field are taken into account. We support the efforts made by President Touadera, the efforts aimed at uh, conducting a political dialogue and a rapid reform of security reform of the security sector, as well as enhancing the potential of the armed forces and expanding the state institutions throughout the country. We agree that there is a need to fight impunity, but the approach to this is something that needs to be carefully calibrated and serve the goal of national conciliation. The um, uh, issues of transitional justice and amnesty is something that needs to be uh, resolved at the national level. And support mechanism should not undermine the progress in the area of uh, um, uh, set overall settlement. Another important issue is the uh, practical implementation of uh, the idea of the mixed units, the units which are to ensure security on those areas which are controlled by armed groups. We think that implementing this uh, initiative could uh, make a sizable contribution into reintegrating combatants and overall will help with, ration, with national reconciliation. And we expect that uh, the um, United Nations missions and CAR will help here. We stand ready to actively participate in the multi-level uh, mechanism on um, monitoring the implementation of the agreement. We instand, uh, intend to support the work of uh, committees um, uh, in, the, in the provinces on that and the Technical Committee on Security through conduct through conducting by peace volunteers and civil society and organizations of outreach activity amongst the people who inhabit the northern and northeastern provinces, explaining to them the contents, the ways of implementation, and the outcomes of peace agreements. Mr. President, Russia uh, brings in substantial contribution into shoring up the combat readiness of the armed and security forces of CAR. At the request of uh, um, the um, country's leadership, we send military technical assistance to Bangui free of charge. With the consent of the Security Council 2127 Committee, the Ministry of Defense of Russia in 2018 has uh, sent uh, small arms and ammunition to Central African Army. And what we're doing currently is preparing the second batch of uh, military goods to be sent. Also, with the consent of the committee, Russian instructors traveled to Bangui in order to help uh, train the Central African military. On the 27th of uh, April in Berengo, the leadership of the country and representative of the diplomatic corps attended the already seventh graduation of uh, uh, the trained um, armed forces of CAR and was a Marine Amphibian Battalion, 318 people strong. Um, this way, we can calculate that the overall number of people who were trained by Russian instructors is um, at the level of 2,236 pe people, out of whom 126 are officers. The high, le high leadership of CAR have assessed their combat read readiness as very high on many occasions. Throughout the time of, presence, of the presence of Russian specialists in CAR also conducted 
a number of activities aimed at normalizing the humanitarian situation and the social situation, uh, creating a conducive conditions to have an interfaith and interethnic dialogue. In the cities of Bria, Wada, and Mbaiki, three hospitals have been deployed. They dis- deployed. They um, treat 300 patients per month and provide humanitarian assistance to everyone in need. From Khartoum to Bangui, through a difficult areas of car, we have organized a humanitarian convoy of more than 15 trucks. The uh, Russian representatives have uh, uh, several times traveled into the Muslim enclave in the area of the mosque in Bangui in order to distribute humanitarian assistance to low-income income families and help with the, few, with the funerals. In Berenko and Bria, we organized prayer houses. We organized more than a, a ton, more than a, more than ten round tables on um, peace building in car, and we. Um, Uh, co- conduct uh, uh, football training for Christian and Muslim players. And we will continue comprehensive assistance to CAR and also uh, undertake steps for a lasting peace in this country. We stand ready to coordinate our efforts with everyone who is in, involved in normalizing the situation without a hidden agenda. I thank you for your attention. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation and now